Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we're gonna unbox a whole bunch of stuff. Now, I had to go away sort of unexpectedly, and it was longer than I expected. After I knew I was going, it still took longer. Double unexpected, so it took a while. That's why my uploads have been a little bit more sparse, and not necessarily the most exciting and new stuff. So, I've got a whole big pile over here of exciting and new stuff. Uh, I know what some of it is off the top of my head, but a bunch of it I don't know. We have a bunch of packages, so we're just going to rip through all of them. We're going to unbox everything. We may not unpackage everything. We'll unpackage a few things depending on how long this takes. But this is the stuff I'm going to be reviewing in the near future, so stick around and by the end I'll have some questions for you guys. So we'll get to that in a little bit. But we're going to start with the little packages first, and then I've got two big piles of loot from Big Bad Toy Store. I always order a bunch of stuff from them, so that's always exciting. But first, we have just a regular baby size package from the Amazon. And so let's just dive right into it and see what we have. I believe this is... Well, I know what it is now, never mind. I was gonna guess, but then I didn't guess because I already seen it. I seen it as I was opening it. So this is the Marvel Legends Wolverine featuring Hugh Jackman. And I have to say, I have to say this, it's not anywhere near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. The face, now the body looks decent, looks fine, looks good. The face looks significantly better than the promo images. There's none on here. Good idea, this is actually kind of ironic that the face is blacked out because it looked rough. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this on the extra head right here. I think it's going to focus enough that you'll be able to see it, hopefully. The beard hair is painted awful. It's like inside the mouth a little bit, looks a little funky. But his other head looks a lot more like him than I thought it was going to. So that is awesome. Also worth noting, the claws, the metal claws up on these hands right here, those may be usable in future releases. We also have some bone claws. Looks good, looks like a really solid figure. I'm actually kind of pumped. I don't, I'm not big on movie figures because I don't really like collecting action figures of real people, you know? So I don't do that a lot. So this one, I guess we don't really have to, I mean, we'll go ahead and unbox it. I hate it when they do this though. Like they used to, you used to be able to get figure arts in these brown shippers inside a box. I don't care for the fact that they're sending the shipper as the package, which means if this gets damaged at all, your inside package is likely to be damaged too. And I, I don't want my inside package to be damaged. So, let's check it out. Oh, well, that's cool, there's a smashed spider on it. I'm very glad it's smashed. Let's just get, get rid of that. So it looks like we are in tip top. So there's the new version of Android 18 with what may be the laziest packaging we've seen on a Dragon Ball release to date. Look at all that empty space up there because it's missing accessories from the original release. They should have taken some of the stuff that's over here, spread it out. I hate it when like, I don't collect stuff in the package. Like I'll keep the package to keep the accessories in and whatnot, but I know a lot of people will want to display it like this and not holding it, you know what I mean. Empty space. That's a lot of empty space. I don't think people are going to like that. So I feel bad for those people. I don't personally care because I'll never see it. If anything, you'll just see the side. Probably this side. But that's still kind of a bummer. Alright, I think this is the uh, uh, other order I had to place to get all of this stuff together. A lot of people have asked me, why didn't you get review samples this year? You got review samples from like a lot of the recent Comic-Con type stuff from Bluefin, why not this year? Good question. I don't know. If you really wanna know, you're gonna have to ask somebody at Bluefin. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Though I don't think very many people did get samples. I know some went out, and uh, not to me. <laughs> so that's all I can tell you. That's all I know. Here we have the Ultra Stink Goku with his uh, little tank top tattered up. And it looks good. This is probably going to be a good release. There's one thing about it that's probably not great. I think he's got a little bit of the, the shoulder hunch going forward. But other than that, I think it's going to be really strong. I'm pretty psyched about that. So we'll be reviewing that very soon because I know my audience likes some SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball figures. Actually, most of the stuff we have today is all pretty big, uh, big upload days. You know, there are some uploads that don't draw very many viewers, but then there's some that draw a ton. And then, of course, we have Android 17. Repaint version. 
His doesn't have as much emptiness at the top. They did a good job of spacing that. So anyway, we have a bunch of big review days coming up. So that's pretty cool. All right, next. Well, this one's pretty obvious. I think what is inside is fairly obvious, but we're gonna go ahead and open it anyway. If I can find the opening area, the location for opening. This is a magical box, apparently. We'll just do it like this. There's tape here, that means there has to be a reason for tape there. You know what, let's just move the tape so I can see what the heck I'm doing. There it is, all right. So this is an Amazon exclusive Hasbro product, as far as I can tell, based on the packaging. Which one is it, is the question. Oh! Oh, this is the one I'm very psyched about. As much as one can be psyched for Marvel Legends. Let's get it a little closer so you guys can see. There is the uh, white and pink version of the Mandroid armor. And then we also have uh, Psionic Sword Lady. And then we have Shooty Johnson over here. And I'm very psyched for this. Not because of Phantom X or Psylocke, I don't really care about them. But I have wanted a Nimrod figure for a long time for a long time, and it looks like they did a good job. I'm pretty pumped about that. That's gonna be fun to review. Lots of clear parts or translucent parts on this set. Gonna be nice, gonna be nice. And it looks like even Shooty Johnson has a couple of effect parts in there. So yes, that will be a good set to review. We have another Psylocke, which looks entirely underwhelming though. I wanna point that out. Doesn't look like that. I'll tell you that much. Oh well. Still gonna be a good set. Everybody bought it for Nimrod. I know, I checked. All right, we have four boxes left. I don't know what's in them. What is this? Shipping department. Huh, well, I don't know. Sometimes I get packages and I don't know what those packages are. Also, it's a really good idea, he said very sarcastically, to take an oversized knife and use it in your weak hand and drag it towards your chest and neck. That's really the best way to open packages all the time, for sure. What is this? Oh, oh, this is something I didn't even know was in here. Some of you are gonna be really psyched about this. Some of you not so much. So we have some Hia Toys Injustice figures. So the first one we have is Green Lantern. There you go. Injustice 2, I should say. Then we have Waterman. There you go. They actually look pretty solid. He had toys has definitely been improving. I mean, they've always been good for the scale, but they've definitely had some weak spots, mostly in the face department. That's kind of hard to see. Dark Side's a little dark in there. They have been improving for sure, and these are a good example. There's tons of detail on these guys, and they look good. So we'll see if the quality is up to snuff. There's more in there. We'll get to them in a second. Uh, first, let's look at this. This is a Predator. This is the Falconer Predator. There you go. These packages are a little bit dark. It's gonna be hard to see what's inside there, but we will be reviewing all of these in the near future, so stay tuned for that. And, ooh, this one looks nice. There you go, Reverse Flash. There, he looks pretty good. And then we have Robot Cop. On a classic looking card, that's kinda cool. I like that, a little bit of Robocop stuff going on. And then we have another one, is this, what is this? One was Battle Damage maybe? Yeah, Battle Damage is that one, and then this one's regular. It's the regular version. There you go. And then, wow, they, they packed a lot of stuff in there. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> okay, here's the Berserker. Another Pred. He looks kind of big. He might have some size on him, we'll check. Maybe not. So there's Berserker, then we have two more packages. Goodness, they sent a bunch of stuff. I didn't even know this. So yeah, all my HIA stuff comes directly from HIA so that I can review it for you guys. And there's the Tracker Predator. There you go. So more Preds. And then we have one more Injustice. This is Bane. I didn't know he looked like this ever in the game. That's a really cool look for Bane. I like that a bunch. It looks way better than the look that they did in, uh, that they did use for the Storm Collectibles. I hate that look for Bane. Little tiny peanut head, unshapely body, looks like a snowman. Anyway, all right, let's see what's in this one. This is a big one too. Oh, I think I know what's in this and I'm very excited. 
I'll give you guys a clue. You can try to guess in the comment section below before I open it. I overpaid on shipping on this item like you wouldn't believe unless you also bought this item. Because holy crap was the shi shipping outrageous. I've been told the, the situation has been corrected since, but uh, I did pay out the ass for shipping on this guy. Goodness gracious. Well, maybe they wouldn't charge so much for shipping if they didn't use such an oversized box. Come on, NECA. Come on. Also, this is the one I bought. They may be sending me a review sample. NECA does tend to do that because they're happy with their products. So here we have Mr. Shredder in his super shredder form. It looks very nice. You know, I have my lights like right here. I guess it's lighting it up well enough. The lighting is set for me, not for the stuff I stick forward. I don't know which way I should do it. I guess I have to make me look normal since I'm on the screen a lot, but wish I could show you these better. But yeah, there's Super Shredder. He looks great. The only thing that I have some trepidation about on this guy, and in a vacuum, it looks awesome. I'm gonna show you this here because it's easier for you to see this without glare. Uh, the trepidation I have is that the shading they did is fairly stylized. It's very cell shaded looking, which looks fantastic. But it's from the movie. It's not supposed to be video game or cartoon looking, so it's a little strange that they went with such a stylized look. I don't know that that's really a problem, but it is interesting. His neck looks very offset. Maybe we'll open this guy and take a look at him. We'll take a look at that in a minute. All right, we have two big packages left. Let's see what's in. I got more stuff than I thought I got. All right, that's one good thing. Most of the times you guys have seen me do giant unboxings, it's because I was out of town and couldn't collect my stuff as it came. And that leads to doing an unboxing like this. So good for you guys, not good for me. I'm sure all of this stuff has been reviewed out the wazoo by now, but hopefully you guys will like to see what I have to say about it. If I can even open it, there we go. We will tear that off. You don't need to see my address. What do we have in here? There's a bunch of stuff. Okay. First thing. The Rogue and Pyro 2-pack, which looks like a really, really nice set. Yes. There are a few things that we'll have to talk about for sure, but... Just first impression, very, very nice set. Hasbro's doing a pretty good job lately. Let's see if they can keep that up. Next up, we have the Michelin Man, as seen in Mortal Kombat 1. I say that because he looks like he's made out of uh, white tires. Is the Michelin Man, why is the Michelin Man white? Shouldn't he be black like tires? Isn't that what the, am I thinking of the right thing? Let's just go with Stay Puffed. So there's Raiden, Goofy Head. We'll see if it's any good, I don't know. <laughs> I know it looks like, like the body looks like it's supposed to, the head's not doing it for me so far. We'll see how it looks out of package. But I've talked to a lot of Mortal Kombat people who are far more into it than I am. Generally speaking, the consensus is that figure looks a little, a little weird. So we'll see how it turns out. All right, next up we have Captain Ginyu. We already reviewed him, but I wanted another. So I got another. All right, next up. Next and then is Marvel's Apocalypse. We'll see. This could be the end of Marvel as we know it. I'm really psyched to have this. Does anybody remember the toy that came out back in Toy Biz days? Not Marvel Legends days where it was Apocalypse and he was all wrapped like a mummy, sort of. He was still blue and red. I don't know that storyline or where that figure came from, but I remember owning it and loving it. Does anybody know what I'm talking about and can you elaborate a little bit on that was that did that have something to do with the onslaught situation i think it might have let me know if you guys know anything about that i'd like to know more about it and talk about it okay uh what else do we have spawn we have spawn with his mace i'll probably throw a review up on this just so you guys can see if it's any different in case you're curious although i'll tell you right now it looks like it's just about the same but it comes with the mace there you go. All right, we are running out of room over here. A few more things, what do we have here? Oh, we have uh, Kaioken Goku, already reviewed that. And what do we have here? Oh, okay, that's a big one. We have Kingpin. Not 
necessarily the exact version some people were hoping for because of the coloration, but it is a much closer to the cartoon version of Kingpin. And I know it's not supposed to be, but I know some people wanted like the solid white, I think is the thing, whatever, I don't remember. Either way, it looks good. I, I like this one, I'm excited for it. It is like 99% of repaint, maybe 100%, but it looks cool, so that's fine with me. That's okay. And then the last one for this package. is Mysterio in his traditional look. Gosh, I want one that looks like that. The one on the back right here. Can we get a cartoon-based Mysterio, please? I know that that drawing is technically this, but I want one that's like not all checkered and whatnot. But this looks pretty sweet. Like this is, this is the Mysterio I want. How many of you think this is the best Mysterio they've released to date? For me, it's not even close. Just aesthetically speaking, this is the bee's knees. I do want one based on the cartoon a little bit more than this, but I think this will do for now. Okay, last one. Where's my knife? Okay. Okay. Last box. This is a big one. Some of you are going to be able to guess what's inside. It's a very big item. And there's other stuff with it, I believe. But at least one of them is a very big item. There we go. All right, let's get the knife out of here. And yeah, we're only at 15 minutes. We may open something up, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we open something up? All right. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. First thing, that's a bigger package than I expected. I never heard that before. It's the Punisher and motorcycle. I don't know about this. I don't know. It's still not the Punisher I want, but it is one that I know a lot of you will want and I wanted to review it and it looked like they did some things really, really nice on it. So I figured it would just be unfair for me to not review it. He looks huge though. I don't mean muscular wise, I mean size wise. He looks like a seven inch figure. Very curious to see if he is. But I see some things that are just lovely about this figure. Firstly, his shirt is sculpted onto his shoulders which is great. Can I get it closer for you to see maybe? Yes, you can. He Look at the shape of him too. Look how big and broad his chest and shoulders are compared to his hips. He actually looks like a superhero, a comic book character. What the heck? You know, this has happened so many times. This mic has a tension arm and just every once in a while it decides to just leave. Hopefully you guys have heard me well enough. Anyway. He just looks really good. It looks like a really nice figure. It's not the exact Punisher design I want, but it looks really good and I think you guys are going to want to see a review. So we got that. Plus I get almost all the Marvel Legends anyway. Okay, then we got this one which I just really couldn't care less about at this point. This, this line has just really let me down so many times. That head sculpt looks nice for uh, Trini, but uh, yeah, we'll review it. But eh. eh. Alright, then the last one. The big tabang, tabang, tamale. The, the whole shebang. What's the tamale one? Hot tamale? I totally mixed up all the sayings. Anyway, there it is. Big Monkey Vegeta. What's the official name? Great Ape Vegeta? Yeah, that's what it is. I can't even show you because I have too much stuff. There you go. He's so hidden. All right, I'm not a huge fan of that. I get that they wanted this artwork on the package, but... Isn't the window kind of important? Shouldn't this have been shrunken down a little bit? You can't even see the figure. Look at that, he's just peeking over the top. Again, I don't personally care because I'm never going to display it in the box, but don't show me the, draw, uh, the, the photo of the figure, show me the figure. What the heck? But I'm psyched for this. Only thing that leaves me apprehensive about this guy is he has virtually zero paint on him as far as detail work, shading and that kind of thing but it does look awesome. From an engineering standpoint, sculpt standpoint, it looks really good. Um, what are we at? 17 minutes after I edit, 17.40. Uh, it'll probably be down to seven. That's, that's a long video. I don't know that we need to open anything right now. Uh, this video will just get really long. You guys can let me know for future reference. Do you guys want me to open stuff out of the package in these videos and make the video even longer? Or, <coughs> excuse me, should I just, hmm. Should I just um, 
do it the way I'm doing it and just end it right now. Let me know what you think about that kind of thing. But if you did make it this far, because it is, it is a fairly long video, uh, just say that's a hot tamale. Because that's I, that's one of the sayings I kind of tried to use earlier and messed up. So if you made it this far, just say that's a hot tamale. Why not? Okay, so yeah, let me know what you guys want, want me to review. We're not going to open anything. It's too long of a video. No one's going to stick around that long and watch it. I don't want you guys to get hemorrhoids. So we're going to leave it there. Let me know what you want to see first. I'm probably going to try to focus on things that I think people are more interested in. But let me know and I'll try to do what you guys say. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. We're going to go back to the daily uploads. Uh, other than like one day a week. Because I have a lot of stuff to review now. And I'm back in town. So daily uploads. And there are thousands of videos already on the channel if I do miss a day or two. So you can check out all of that good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.